All right, YouTubers. I have done a lot of research on videos. I've got a 2014 Cascadia, Freightliner Cascadia. It's got the DD15 engine. This is regards to the clutch. It's a hydraulic clutch master cylinder. That's where you put the fluid in. It's dot three brake fluid. This is your hydraulic line and it goes down to a slave cylinder. And I'll show you the old one. I went ahead and changed out both. This is the old. Okay, this is the clutch pedal and you have to replace the whole thing. And you'll, it's easy to do. You take the four Torx bolts out right there and this will slide forward and you have this connection right here. And, and to get it off, you take the gray plastic piece and slide it up and then press this in and it'll come right out. Take the four bolts out the hydraulic line right here, you'll have a piece, you'll have a little clip that goes in here. You'll just push in the leg on one side, get a regular, a little small regular screwdriver, get up under it and then pull the whole thing out and that hydraulic line will drop down. And then this right here, you just have to bring it, you bring it straight out. You might have to angle it a little bit and it will come out in one piece. This right here is the switch that activates the start solenoid on the engine. You push the clutch pedal all the way down, this is the switch that'll send the signal, okay? I've replaced this switch. All you do is get an Allen head right there, and I don't remember what size it was. I'm gonna keep this one, but the brand new clutch pedal master cylinder, you buy the whole kit. They don't have anything but the whole kit. It's $400 at Freightliner, okay? and it'll come with the new switch you plug and play. I, this is a brand new one, not even a year old, so I'll save this one. Now let me see if I can find the old slave cylinder. Bleeding these are real simple and you do not need the expensive piece of equipment that they'll tell you to buy. I just did this myself. This is the slave cylinder. The shaft will stay with the arm that goes on the throwout bearing, okay? This is how it'll look when it comes out. You simply take these four bolts out and they are a T30 or T40. I don't remember the size, but they are a Torx bit. This is your bleeder valve right here. This is your bleeder valve. And all you do to bleed this, your hydraulic line comes in here and you'll have the same clip and you simply push in on one of the legs, get your regular screwdriver under there, and just pull it all the way out and the hydraulic line will come off. Now, when you go to bleed this, what I did was I put the hydraulic line on there and I broke this loose and I got it to gravity feed and it was doing that while I were putting these four bolts back in. You know, you slide it in there and uh, tighten those bolts up and here's another trick, okay? Now you'll be, this is the bleeder screw. That's an eight millimeter wrench that you'll need on that. Eight millimeter wrench, okay? You'll, you'll snug it down. You'll have somebody on top. Where's that valve cap that I made? Hold on a minute. Instead of that big expensive piece of equipment that they're gonna tell you to buy, I took the cap off the old clutch master cylinder and I drilled a half inch hole in the middle of it. Hold on a minute, we got some fumbling going on here. I took the cap and drilled a half inch hole and I took a tire valve stem and I fucking put oil, excuse my language, I put oil all around that and I pulled it through. You know, you put oil around that, you pull it through, make sure the valve stem is in it. Okay, and when you have the slave cylinder in place and bolted and you've got the new master cylinder, the clutch, that's the clutch master cylinder. These are the four bolts that you take out. I will tell you that the same Torx bit you use on these is the same Torx bit that are on the slave cylinder to mount it. Take those four bolts out, the whole thing will come forward. There's that little clip I was telling you about. You simply press in this leg, put your screw, put your regular screwdriver up under between that and slide it right out and this line will just come right down. 
Okay, keep in mind that brake fluid will eat all the paint. If you lose brake fluid, make sure you get a pitcher of water and uh, rinse all that off. Brake fluid is water soluble. That's how you get brake fluid off your paint. Catch it in time before it starts to eat. Anyway, you take this cap off, okay? And then you take this cap. This is the old cap. You drill a half inch hole. You get a, uh, this one came off of a lawn mower. And I put it on there. It's still got the valve stem seal in it, valve stem. And you screw it on there. Now they're going to tell you to take it to a dealer to bleed it. Not necessary. You see what this is? This is an air tank. And I filled it up to 60 PSI and I didn't even use, I think it only used like 10 or 15 PSI to do it, but you have somebody on top put this on here, but you don't want to apply, you don't want them to apply air until you're under there and you take the slave cylinder bleeder bolt. I don't know where that went. Slave cylinder. When you're laying under there, you have your wrench on this and you crack this loose until you see brake fluid coming out. <coughs> and then you tell your helper, once you crack this loose and you got brake fluid coming out, you tell your helper to put some air in that, put some pressure in it, okay? And you force the brake fluid and air bubbles down. You'll see air shoot out of this and you don't open this wide open. You just open it enough that you can control the flow. And when all the air is out and it's good and solid and clear, then tighten it up, remove the air, and then have your buddy that's up here remove this cap and make sure that this is at this line. You don't want it below that. I, I have mine running a little bit above the line. I'll bring it in for a close up. And then you put the original new cap back on like so okay that's done and then you'll come in here this is the new clutch pedal of course so you have to use your old pad or buy a new pad it don't come with that and you push it and there you have without paying three to two thousand dollars or waiting for several days for a dealer or a shop to get to you if you'll get one of them harbor freight sells these they're pretty reasonable make sure you don't forget to leave to turn the valve on when you're going to use it and turn it off when you're done you'll need that you'll need the old cap off the old master cylinder you'll, you'll need a lawnmower these are a dollar or two dollars at walmart and and you have just saved yourself a lot of money and a lot of time and you have bled your own clutch cylinder and you're ready to hit the road and make the big bucks. Unless you're a step decker, then you're not gonna make the big bucks, but you can try. Uh, thanks for watching.